I remember back in 2013 when I first played a game called Terraria. It reminded me a lot of another game that I had played, which was, at that point, basically inescapable. Minecraft. Terraria was sort of like 2D Minecraft, which just makes it sound really lame. But it felt somewhat true. They were both procedurally generated. They both had pickaxes. The list goes on. But it wasn't until recently that I realized how vastly different these games are. In quality. Now I'm sure you like Terraria, almost everyone does, but you may be thinking that calling it the perfect video game is a bit of a stretch. But I assure you, I have many reasons to believe this. Now I'm not saying that Terraria is the greatest game of all time, that's completely subjective. I'm saying that Terraria does everything that we as players want it to do, while Minecraft on the other hand seems to be avoiding player satisfaction at every turn. Well, let's start off the way the game does. Not the main menu, the price tag. This is your first interaction with the game as a consumer. Minecraft retails on PC for 30 US dollars, and it has a deluxe edition for $40. You can purchase Minecraft from either the Minecraft.net website or from the Microsoft Store. And once it's purchased, it needs to be updated and opened from its launcher. Terraria? It's 10 bucks on Steam. Right away, Minecraft presents a total headache of a process compared to Terraria. First off, you need to decide which version you want to buy. Is 10 extra dollars worth the 1600 mine coins? Well, to someone who's never played Minecraft and is only now purchasing it, yes, probably. I'm gonna need those five Persona items. I heard they're really good. And to make things worse, you also need to pick between playing Bedrock version and Java version, which are allegedly different. So now you need to do a bunch of research to spend at least $30 so you can download a launcher, download the right version of the game through the launcher, then sign into Microsoft so you can finally reach the fabled main menu. Terraria? You just play it. And no, it's not impossible to download and play Minecraft, but there are so many places for something to go wrong. Okay, so you've purchased either Terraria or Minecraft. Let's make a world and check out the gameplay. Well, let's start with Minecraft. The first thing you're gonna do is start breaking stuff and building stuff. This game is pretty well known for its creative building aspect, the freedom to create whatever comes to your imagination. But for a game that prides itself in creative building, there's no chairs. Oh yes there is, just place a staircase and then put a sign on the side. That kinda looks like a chair. And while you're at it, make yourself a table out of a fence post and a pressure plate. 95% of the creativity in a Minecraft build happens while you're trying to make ghetto furniture. Which is kinda charming, but when you look at what Terraria has, it's just sad. Guess what? Terraria has chairs. A whole lot of chairs. In fact, it has way too much furniture. There are 45 different types of toilets. There are end game toilets. If you wire a toilet to a switch, this happens. Not to mention, the players and NPCs can even sit down in the chairs you place. Oh, but Minecraft is 3D, that makes it harder to add new items. No, actually, drawing sprites for Terraria takes significantly more talent than lighting up cubes to make them look like a chair. I don't really want to go too much into comparing the gameplay of both games, but Terraria has vastly more creative bosses, weapons, biomes, and resources. And it has exponentially more of them, too. You may be thinking that mods level the playing field, since they offer nearly unlimited content for both games. But Terraria has Minecraft beat there too. If you want to mod Minecraft, you've got to get a separate launcher, and then you've got to go around the internet finding the mods you want that match the version of the game you installed. And you know what? This used to be a similar process in Terraria. You had to go online and install something called Tmod Loader if you wanted to play mods. But this Tmod Loader had a database of mods that let you browse and install and update them from within the software with simple buttons. And to take it a step further, Relogic made this software officially part of the game by offering it as a free DLC on Steam, which means that you can spend $9.99 on Terraria and without ever opening a browser or some sketchy mod website, you can download and play thousands of community mods, some of which offer hundreds of hours of new high quality content like bosses and biomes and gear and even their own soundtrack sometimes. Well, what happens when you want to join a friend? Just join your friend like any other Steam game. Joining a friend in Minecraft on the other hand is like trying to hack the CIA. Minecraft is the single best selling video game in human history and joining a friend is all kinds of confusing. Depending on the version, you might need to make your own server using the command prompt. Or if you don't feel like accidentally committing a cyber felony, you can sign up to a subscription for Minecraft Realms. It's pretty cheap to be fair, but honestly, there's nothing fair about this. This just sucks. Oh, but that's not the only bit of monetization you'll find while playing Minecraft. You've got countless texture and skin packs and mine coins. And this marketplace also does have community mods, which makes it the easiest, but also the priciest way of installing Minecraft mods. Terraria? This just a soundtrack. 
which is really just a donation since you can find the soundtrack on YouTube, or, you know, you can just play the game. But this monetization isn't the core of Minecraft's problems, nor Terraria's success. It isn't the building, it isn't the multiplayer. It's the developer's attitude towards the game, the way that the game's been handled, or in Minecraft's case, exploited. Back in 2011, both Minecraft and Terraria released. They really did seem pretty comparable as procedurally generated sandbox indie games, but these games weren't gonna stay the same. In 2014, Minecraft became a not-so-indie game when it was purchased by Microsoft. Over the years, both games have changed considerably as they received numerous significant updates. But as much as I want to give Minecraft some credit, I just can't help but think of people getting hyped for an update that adds a single type of mob, like a bee. Then think of Terraria receiving an update like 1.3 which adds over 800 items and bosses and events and completely new features and mechanics. Terraria has also done a few really awesome crossover events with other indie games, like Dungeon Defenders and Don't Starve. These add things like gear sets, new events, and even new systems that change up the core gameplay entirely. Like the Don't Starve mode, which you can play if you enter a certain seed, or the Crystal Defense event from the Dungeon Defenders crossover. It makes Minecraft's crossovers look terrible, which are pretty much relegated to only visual changes. At most, they'll put together a custom world that you can explore, which is kind of cool. Compared to Minecraft, Terraria takes these crossovers crossovers very seriously. Each and every update in this game is so thoroughly fleshed out, it's really unbelievable. Expert mode, secret world seeds, the crossover events, seasonal events, golfing, rare underground gnomes that turn into placeable statues in the sunlight, this game just won't stop. I can make a 20 minute video just listing and explaining the ridiculous features like the lawn gnomes. But why? Why are Minecraft's updates so incredibly lame compared to the huge content packages you see in Terraria? Well, it all comes down to how the developer sees the game they're working on. Microsoft needs to make something out of their purchase of Minecraft. They need to get it to make them some serious money, and it should be able to. It's got an incredibly valuable name. So they sink money and time into spin-off titles like Minecraft Dungeons and Minecraft Legends while leaving Minecraft itself more or less untended to, neglected. And it seems half the work that goes into a Minecraft update goes into introducing some new form of monetization. And Microsoft needs this because they don't earn anything off of people who just own and play Play Minecraft. They need a subscription service. They need more games for people to buy. They need an in-game currency. How else are they going to turn a profit on this game? I mean, they bought Mojang for $2.5 billion. But, strangely enough, Terraria somehow avoids doing any of this monetizing. They released the game once in 2011 for $10. And that's it. If you bought the game then for 10 bucks, you've received over a decade of fantastic content. You've watched the game grow exponentially. In fact, I'd argue that some single Terraria updates contain more new content than Minecraft currently consists of in its entirety. And the reason this game is so cheap and so easy to play is because the developers, Relogic, are a small enough team who had a big enough success to afford to work on it with little to no profit incentive. They didn't make a sequel or DLC or Terra coins, they just kept working on and improving the game that we love to play. But that's something that Microsoft fails to realize. Nobody's out here freaking out that there's a game with cubes in it, so stop making spin-offs and calling it another Minecraft game. People like Minecraft for its freedom, its calming soundtrack, its potential to express creativity. But instead of investing time and money into making those aspects of the game more enjoyable, they continue to squeeze every last dollar they can out of the popularity of Minecraft's name. But Terraria has pushed onwards, constantly improving even tiny aspects of gameplay like fixing minor annoyances. They never moved on to bigger and better things that nobody wants, and they're always interacting with the players too, adding items and NPCs into the game in reference to pillars of the Terraria community, and even incorporating the external modding software as an official free DLC. In fact, the only time that Terraria's developers betrayed the player base was when they didn't stay true to their word when they said they were done updating the game. The worst thing they've done was love the game too much to stop producing free content updates for it. And for that reason, Terraria is the perfect video game. We could not possibly ask for anything more. Minecraft, however, will sadly never reach this level of perfection, which is really a shame. I'm absolutely not attacking Minecraft players. I have some serious nostalgia for this game and still pick it up from time to time. It would be ridiculous of me to say that you should stop playing Minecraft because Terraria exists. They're different games. But I still stand by my statement that Terraria is a vastly better video game than Minecraft. I originally had the idea to talk about Terraria when I realized how good the value for money is in this game. See, about a month ago I made a video about why I regret my nine years spent playing a game called Destiny. There were some inaccuracies, and I just kind of made some weird points, but 
Oh well, my videos don't get that many views anyways. Why I regret spending nine years playing Destiny and why it's too late to quit is now a viral video that has been trending on YouTube and in the Destiny 2 category. It just recently hit my radar, so I decided I'm gonna watch and react to it with you all here. I do wanna watch this video, why I regret spending nine years playing Destiny and why it's too late to quit. This is gonna be a juicer. I, I, I already know it's gonna be a juicer. But while reading through comments, I noticed that there were some people who found me to be too critical of the game's monetization. Several people claimed that around $700 over a nine year span is actually very good value for money. They really said that. That's when I realized why the gaming industry is in the state it's in. People willingly pay hundreds of dollars just to keep playing a game that they're pretty sure they enjoy. So many people sink thousands of hours into a game like Destiny 2 without ever playing a true masterpiece tier game. A game like Terraria, or Borderlands 2, or Mario Galaxy, or Adventure Time Hey Ice King Why'd You Steal Our Garbage. And I'm not the one to tell you to only play good games. I play Battlefield 2042. But I do want you to only spend time on games that you thoroughly enjoy playing. Yeah, I enjoy 2042. Sorry. The very moment you have doubts about the amount of time you spend playing a game, just quit. You can keep yourself entertained for your entire life on only fantastic games, and it would probably be way cheaper than trying to keep up with some garbage MMO that doesn't respect your investment of time or money. So, in summary of this comparison between Terraria and Minecraft, screw Destiny 2. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you later. Thanks. As somebody who's never played Minecraft and is a Minecraft. But it wasn't until recently that I realized how vastly different these games are. Several people claim that around $700 over a 900 year span. 